friends, please like and subscribe for more amazing stories. My first marriage was anything but easy. My husband, Chris, was never perfect, but I loved him more than anything. Unfortunately, the longer we were married, he started to change for the worst. You can't do anything right, can you? I can't believe I married someone who messes up everything they touch. It didn't matter what I did. It was wrong to Chris. Even when I surprised him and went out of my way to do something extra nice, he had an issue with it. Chris, look! I bought you that watch you've had your eye on for a while. It's going to look so nice on you! It's not even the right color! How stupid can you be? He broke the watch I saved up to buy for him without a second thought. It wasn't only how he talked to me that was bad. Sometimes, Chris wouldn't come home at night, and I'd be left alone. Honey, when will you be home? I miss you. You're so clingy. I'll be home when I can. I stayed up and realized that I couldn't do it anymore. Chris was hurting me more than he was helping me. I had to make a plan to get away from him. I started packing all of my items and planning what my new life would look like. It would be hard, and I would struggle. But anything was better than his abuse. He arrived home to see me with my bags packed. Where do you think you're going? I came home, just like I promised. After hours and hours of being gone, I waited up for you all night, and I still have no idea where you were. I'm done, Chris. <laughs> You're so dramatic. You will never make it on your own. It took everything I had to leave him, but I did it. I found a place to stay, and I was all alone. But then, I made a discovery. I was pregnant with Chris's baby. I had a huge decision to make. I needed to call Chris. I'm pregnant. What are we going to do? You're going to come home and we will be a family like we were supposed to be before you tried to leave me. I didn't like how aggressive he sounded. But I had no other choice. I could hardly support myself on my own, let alone a child. With my head hanging low, I returned home to Chris and promised to make the best of it for our baby. I quickly learned that nothing changed, and he was even worse than he was before. His mean comments broke my heart every single day. The second you have the baby, you need to get on a diet. Why? I'll lose the baby weight as I can. Not because you're forcing me to in a hurry. I am your husband. We are a family now, and I decide what's best for all of us. I knew I really needed to get out for good, and going could never be an option. After I had the baby, I left Chris and met a new man. Bruce was my dream partner, and he wanted to get married and adopt my son. I agreed because I was so ready to be loved correctly and have the family I always dreamed of. We moved thousands of kilometers away to start our new life. It was everything that Chris couldn't give me. For the very first time, I was truly happy. After a few years passed, I got a very unexpected phone call. Marissa, I've been in a horrible accident and I need help. I have nobody else to turn to. 
I had no idea what to do. Part of me wanted nothing to do with the man who treated me so horribly. But deep down, I still had love for him. We took vows for each other, and I felt I needed to uphold my promises. I want to help you, but it's hard to believe that you'll be nice to me. I promise I wasn't a good husband, but I've learned from my mistakes and I need you. I could tell he was being sincere. The accident must have put everything in perspective for Chris. He was humbled by the events. I lied to Bruce and told him that I had a family emergency and wasn't sure when I would be back. I went straight to the hospital to see Chris. What took you so long? You promised you would be here to help me. I got here as fast as I could, but it takes time to travel, Chris. I'm sorry. As soon as I said it, a rush of memories filled me. It was just like the past. Chris was no different in his mean and controlling ways. He started bossing me around in the hospital to do things for him. I tried to defend him in my mind. Maybe he was being mean again because of all of the pain. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. When it was time for him to go home from the hospital, I got everything set up at the house that used to be ours. Don't you miss this house and the life we had together? If you came home, we can be a family again. And it can be exactly like you wanted. That's what I thought was happening. But you haven't been nice to me since I've been here taking care of you. I've done everything for you to make your life better. You're just as self-centered as you always were, always wanting to be the victim. That was the last thing Chris said to me before I stormed out and went back home to Bruce. He wasn't worth my energy, and I was stupid to think he was changed by the accident. He would have to figure out someone to help take care of him, because it wasn't going to be me. I rushed home to get back to family. Bruce, where are you? I'm home! I missed you so much! My plan was to keep up the story about my sick family member, but then I realized that wouldn't work. Bruce left a note saying he knew what the phone call was about and that he couldn't be with someone who would drop everything for their horrible ex. He was done with me! and took my son with him. This can't be happening. This is all a nightmare. Chris found a way to ruin my life yet again. He lured me away from my happy life with more of his lies, and I threw away the person that truly made me happy, which was Bruce, who also now had my son. It would be impossible to get either of them back because the authorities viewed what I did as abandonment. There was nothing I could do. When people show you their true colors the first time, believe them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.